Hi folks, it's Max from 1xroot.com. So I've got a quick ROM overview of the latest uh, AOKP MR1 build 5 for both the AT&T 1X, or if you have a 1XL, uh, and also the International 1X uh, for the quad core. Uh, let me go ahead and kind of walk you through um, some of the biggest changes. Well, the biggest change actually with the uh, MR1 build 5, it fixes uh, virtual memory leak. So if, if you actually, um, I haven't really experienced it, but if you did experience while opening a lot of apps uh, and you had to kill apps, then that should be fixed in the latest version. And of course, if you want to have one of the most stable solid ROMs, um, definitely run AOKP as this is also an official build for the AT&T 1X. It's an official version uh, from the AOKP team. This is like the official. For the uh, 1X, the International 1X, this is not the official, but it's a ported version. It's the Ice Cold Jelly. Uh, but it's pretty much the same thing. Actually, this one actually has more features than the AOKP. Highly recommend it. Ice Cold Jelly um, has been always pretty good, and very stable. Um, so let me go ahead and kind of walk you through with the AT&T version here. Let me go ahead and adjust the camera. Uh, let's pull that a little bit. Um, so with the menu button, you'll see the recent button becomes menu button. You can also customize it, of course. Of course, at the heart of AOKP is the ROM control. Uh, what's new with AOKP MR1 Bill 5? Navigation ring is new. Um, this allows you to set up to uh, five different targets. This, let's actually try it together here. Um, you can you can also choose your custom icon, which is really nice. Uh, and let me go ahead and choose a couple applications here. Uh, go to applications, camera there, and let's put uh, short action here. And let's put Google Now there. And let's put more applications. And uh, you can put your Gmail there. And also you can put your phone. Um, that way you can use this instead of the dock. Uh, that's what I like to do now. It's kind of fun. And let's set the phone there. And also maybe uh, your messaging app, you probably use that often if you want to use it instead of, of the dock. There you go. I've got it set here. Make sure you hit save. And also, um, let's actually set long press status. That gives us additional five targets. Um, let's actually set that here. Do a long press on the camera. Uh, sorry, you don't have to do a long press. You can just do that, and then you'll have an option for long, long action. I got confused there. Uh, let's do, ooh. I was going to actually do screenshot. There's no screenshot option here. Um, yeah, there's no. So you can actually set up to uh, 10 different shortcuts, which is really nice. Go ahead and save, all right? If something goes wrong and you can't set it, make sure you hit uh, reset, and that will reset everything. You can start over. Now, it will not work. As you can see, it's not coming up. Uh, you have to actually enable the navigation bar. Otherwise, it will not work. Um, so go ahead and uh, now you got the navigation bar. Now you got it working. Um, and uh, let's say you don't need those buttons, or you can customize those buttons too down here. Uh, maybe you don't need the home button. You can put additional apps, custom apps. You know, it's it's a ton of ways you can uh, customize it. Actually, let's try something else. Let's do kill app, um, and also notifications. Just try something different, and also custom apps here. Uh, let's set it to. Play Store. There we go. And also, you can set up to five different, uh, five different, seven actually. Sorry, you can set up to seven different. Oh, sorry, did I miss the camera? Did we miss all that? Uh, you can set up to seven different shortcuts. So that is really nice. And also, um, if that's too big, you can actually make it smaller. I think. There we go. Bar height. Make it as small as possible. There we go. And you'll be able to make use of the ring and also uh, additional seven shortcuts, which is really nice. And also seven additional long presses if you want. That's 14 plus 10 um, different shortcuts you can do. Uh, very nice. So there we go. So that's the new feature, navigation ring. Actually, it's it's been there before, but um, now it's a, a separate menu now. And also um, for your quick shortcuts, let me show you that here. Um, let me see, toggles here. Uh, with the latest MR1 uh, Bill 5, you can do traditional, 
Um, so instead of having those targets, you'll have the traditional where it's just on top, on the bottom of the status bar, so you don't have to, you know, you can see uh, both notifications and your status toggles at the same time. And also fast toggle is good for one fingering. Um, so those are new. Everything else is the same. Uh, of course, my recommendation, always keep these on recent RAM bar. Um, so if you have the recent RAM bar, you can see the RAM kill all, you know, that's all good stuff. And also I've got the kill button here so I can kill apps easily. Oops, can you see that? Um, so very nice and uh, same thing with the uh, the One X, pretty much exactly the same. Um, you get all of the MR1 Build 5 features. It, it is a ported version of that. And let me just test out the camera here. Now with the camera, it's you're gonna lose the One X, uh, you know, burst mode. There is burst mode on this ROM, but it's nowhere near good as um, having a sense ROM. So if you need that, definitely go with the sense ROM. Uh, if not, you can go with the Neo KP. And let me show you the international One X version, slightly different. You get pretty much everything the same for ROM control, as you can see here. Uh, but you get extra ice cold custom settings for the international One X. Um, you get GPU overclocking, uh, 460 megahertz if it's off, and default is on 520 megahertz. So you should see a slightly increased um, increased GPU while playing games, and also audio minimum frequency. Uh, this will kind of raise the sound levels. ZRAM, uh, some more additional options. And there's actually even more additional options. Uh, like if you go to display, um, there's some additional options down here. Expose uh, app settings. You can run your apps in phone or tablet mode. Um, it's embedded into here. I have a you know full tutorial on that. I'll have a link to that at the highonandroid.com. You can actually install it on any rooted device. And also, there's Netflix uh, workaround. Uh, if you have, you know, problems viewing Netflix, you can try this, but it's it's not working. I think this has actually been fixed. It's just a uh, leftover. Um, you should be fine. It, Netflix w should work without that. And uh, yeah, otherwise, it's pretty much the same, same ROM uh, for the One X, and uh, pretty nice. So check it out for this week's ROM of the week for the AT&T One X and also the International One X. Uh, when you install it, um, you are mostly likely to have to manually install boot.image just the way ACC locked it down and that's how they want you to do it. Um, go ahead and do that and uh, you should be all good to go. Oh, and one more thing, if you, if you want to get rid of the dock completely, uh, what you can do is download a Nova Launcher and there's a toggle for the dock and it will get rid of it. Then you can have all of this space for your apps and whatnot. But check it out for this week's ROM of the week. Um, this is the official version for the AT&T One X, or if you have a One XL International One X, the 4G LTE version, it'll work fine also. And the International uh, One X here, the original One X, this is a ported version, but works very well. Ice cold jelly. And also, if you have problems with uh, Google search not working, um, Google Now search not working, force closing. Just go to Play Store, update Google Search app. There's an app. Just update that, and it will work fine after that. It's just a problem with the G apps. Oh, I gotta let my dog out. Uh, anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. Try it out, and do let me know for both of One X or One XL or AT&T One X, and do let me know what you think of this ROM. And uh, if you have a One X, One XL, as always, don't forget to sign up for my email list at onexroot.com. Uh, we update you once a week with Ronald Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button down there. And I'll see you guys soon. And I'm kind of pondering if I should get the HCC one. I'm not sure yet. Um, just still pondering. Uh, but uh, if you guys are going to get one, don't forget to leave in the comments and leave a why. Anyway, thanks, you guys. Stay high on Android. Yeah.